All right, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. This is a Proustian. I'm on the Unreliable. Oh, I can level up people. Perfect. Let's do it. Let's pick a perk. We have here. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not even going to read the rest. I want that one. And if I can do that for all of them, I'm going to do it for all of them. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, everybody dies when I go into fights with them. <laughs> Does everything take me to Byzantium now? Not that one. Just these two. Okay, well, maybe I'll do this one then. I'm curious about it. Okay, let's do that. Wait, how's my inventory? Oh, I'm so good. Okay, cool. This actual ship. Excellent. Satellite in the outer part of the Halcyon system, Heliospheric Research Station 1084, technically owned by the board, has long been since abandoned. Let's go. We've reached HRS 1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. When I arrived, did, were there people talking? Oh, maybe. Well, if so, I probably missed it. It might have been those two, like Ellie and Yoka. Okay. Okay, now who am I going to take with me? Not you. Um. I kind of want to take Parvati because, well. The thing is, am I actually here on a rescue mission or am I on a shoot 'em up mission, right? Um, I'll give Ellie a rest. I like having her medical perks, but I'm going to use her in Byzantium a fair amount, I think, since she's from Byzantium. I think I'll go with um, Sam and Parvati. Sure. Okay. Please check battery levels before initiating an extended sanitization session. Yep. Good plan. Okay, so that's inside that room. There's no door that way. Oh, wait, that way? Where's the door? It's like... Oh, oh, I can walk through that. Oh, oh, I see. It's one of these restricted access things, but it's, um, like, broken. It's very disorienting. Disorienting is not quite the right word. Not a good feeling to be on, like, a ship in space that's literally damaged and falling apart. It feels unsafe. Shipment manifest. Concussive binds. Oh, excuse me. Contents may have shifted in transit. Warranty is void on any and all detonated mines, regardless of cause. To amper with disabling or destroying mines is a fireable offense. Mines are not a company authorized decoration, pet, or sporting equipment. They're not suitable for indigestion. I hope not. Not eligible for any recycling promotion. Do not purposefully stand, sit, or recline on mines. Mines are not your friend. <laughs> Takes no liability for any actions taken or not taken by mines. Okay. Oh my god. UDL recognizes you could have chosen any remote explosives provider. <laughs> hmm. 
quality and safety not guaranteed. Oh my god, your commitment guarantees products quality and safety for many shipments. Quality and safety not guaranteed. That is incredible. So these people produce mines. I should maybe remember why... What's her name sent me here? Valuable salvage, right. Abandoned. So that she can just take it over. Power source to get the place back up and running. Yeah, as long as it's not a mine. Sure. Okay. Bins. Well, I saw a terminal through here, so I'll go this way first. Let's give these little fellas a wide berth, Captain. Which little fellas? The mines? Where are they? Are those the mines? Are the boxes? Are the mines in the boxes? Yeah. I just have a bad feeling about it, that's all. Like, is that the valuable salvage? Hmm. Unable to access memory cartridge. Terminal power below 5%. Maintenance mode. Okay, so I have to get the power back. I knew that anyways. Oh shit! Huh. I was like, is that one of the bag things? No. It is very much not. So, I know they had like, big mines. These are little mines. These, are these the little are these the mines they were um, talking about? Oh, that still got my ears. I'm impressed at these effects, though, when, when the mine goes off near you. It really feels like, oh, jeez, yeah, that you've, um, hurt your, hurt your ears and, uh, stuff by being too close. Okay, that was fine. I definitely see right on my radar. So, there's that. Okay, so that was the other restricted access. It's just so dark. Sealed. Creepy. You guys see that, right? Like, that, that can't be good. That's why I brought Sam. Her body is here for moral support and like maybe f helping fix things if things need to be fixed. Uh, Sam is here in case I gotta bust stuff up. Okay, well, how do I get to there? Alright, I am gonna close the blinds. It is too dark and too bright in this room. Okay, I should be able to see better now. Alright. But yeah, I definitely did not see a door. I mean, it's sealed, right? That door is sealed. These doors are sealed. Maybe once I turn on power, um, I'll be able to open some of these. Okay, so we will definitely go back up to the top room and see if I can go the other direction and make something happen that way instead. There is something really cool about being able to look up and see stars. That's why I love I love games that are in space. Okay. Now 
got to be on the lookout for those things. Okay. Okay, well, I can come into the kitchen here. Oh, an identity cartridge. Uh, but all the restricted things are busted. But I suppose if they ever became not busted or if there's a different EDL place, I know to go to. Well, I don't know. Boxes. Help the chairman and minister Clark defeat Arkham. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Heavy ammo in the kitchen cabinet, just like I always do. I guess. Okay. So that's everything out of here, I think. Let's keep pushing on. Deep fried crispy bits. Oh, that sounds amazing. I would definitely eat those. There's a lot of thing in this things in this universe I would not eat, but like I would actually eat those. There's now a lot of red on my radar. Before there was one arrow, and now there's a whole bunch. Oh, this seems good though. All right. I feel like a whole bunch of bad stuff's gonna happen once I power everything up. <sighs> okay. High security containment for the lab. Oh my god, I just saw their thing. Universal Defense Logistics would like to remind employees that it is in no way responsible for the highly unfortunate, but realistically probable, case of loss of life in its facilities. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. Wait, and this is associated with Auntie Cleo? So was Phineas's ship that he took over. Interesting. Anyways. Uh, engineering section terminal, generator status active, 2% output. And I suppose active minimal functions available. Modify generator mode to normal. Sure, that sounds great. Disable emergency lighting, activating facility lights, activating security protocols, activating air recyclers. New laboratory set option selected. Sure. Flushing toilets. Error flushing toilets. Great. View facility status report. Okay. A toilet and maintenance barracks does not flush. Replacement part ordered 1,243 days ago. That's... A good long while, right? That's like pff, almost four years. Ugh. Sensors indicate Alta Vitae gas is leaking from storage tanks. It's toxic to humans. Priority is set to non critical. Management does not utilize the Alta Vitae gas tank storage room. Oh my god. Fucking management, right? Okay. Sensors detect that the new laboratory sent air freshener is running low. Certainly an issue. Repair the toilet. Work order already exists. It was open 991 days ago. Last access 991 days ago. I mean, that's a long time, though, between 1241 and 991, right? That's like 350 days. That's like a year. Jeez, people. Okay. Um, is there anything else? No. Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. Okay. What's going A on? A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are catching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop. I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. 
Okay. Oh my god. The Han Solo line. Okay. My team has already handled the issue, soldier. Your squad can depart. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Absolutely. Uh, sure, lie. I already reactivated the Altamax. Your readout must be on a delay. Yeah. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. That was I used to say words have power. You proved them true. Heck yeah. Okay. Alright, so the restricted access things are back on. There's definitely still red on the radar, but at least I don't have to worry about those extra troops gunship things. The lights are on, that's nice. I mean, in a way, I've done everything I needed to, right? Shit, guys. Okay, I'm gonna just. This makes it look like I've got, like, several charges to my thing. But nonetheless, do I need to do anything else? Grant sublight remote access to the station. Make your way to the override terminal. Okay. Are all of those just the, um... Is this? This isn't gonna do it, right? Nonetheless. Okay. Kimball. About your concerns. Of course, morale is low. You gave those PhD tanks of nuclear scrambled gas and no warm bodies to test it on. Scrambling gas. What did you think would happen? They can test on each other all they want, but no one lays a hand on my squad. I'm installing safeguards in case anyone challenges that decree. Bedtime story. Draft? Once upon a time, there was a princess. Kimball I to Kimball A, who trained to be a soldier. While the other princesses got jobs at canneries and counting houses, the soldier squinted down her sights at the firing range and made sure she hit the target every time. Then one day, a not very nice man offered her a job in an ivory tower, far, far away from the kingdom. The princess could provide for her ailing father, her lovely child, and her goofball husband, but she would have to stay locked in the tower until the doctors could find a way out. Once she thought better of her choices, the princess applied for early dismissal, but no one listened. The end. Oh, I love you, Angelica. Maybe you can write me a better ending. Give your father a hug and tell him I'm sorry for missing another birthday. Oh, that's sad. Security routines. Nothing. Okay. Hey, it's still not stealing. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try going back down the door over here because I think it's basically my only other option. Is there something over here? Oh, is there something over here? Yeah, stuff to take. Another computer. Perfect. Yeah, this is the other one I saw. Take your shotgun. Heck yeah. You blank UDL key card. That might be useful. Ooh. I'll have to look down there too. Second. Okay. Oh yeah, sure. I'll need a key card. But I don't know why, but sure, maybe it'll help me open a door. Electrical control room keycard. Yeah, see. Okay. From redacted subject closing down. 
Transport vessel has been dispatched. I have taken the liberty of upgrading the sensitive materials containment rating in the asset. You're permitted to leave with company branded consumables, but all personal effects must be left behind. Do not interfere with the tanks. A cleanup crew will dispose of all exhausted assets in time. All those who require ethical correction therapy can speak to a space or care approved alienist. Hmm, that sounds not great. Guthrie J. James has got it. He never said goodbye. I kept telling me he wanted me to remember him as he was outside of the tank. Ugh, that's right, that man in the tank. Oh, God. Or maybe he was just bad at goodbyes. When I saw what was left of him, I wanted to airlock everyone who let it happen. You should have said something, James. We were never short on time. Nothing's keeping me here. The bits aren't worth it. I've requested transfer. I get the impression I'm not the only one. Yeah, this is the whole, like, they're experimenting on each other thing. Like, ooh. Kimball thinks there'll be trouble once the docks run out of warm bodies. If James was around, I know he'd set her straight. Now that he's gone, maybe I could use some convincing, too. She showed up next to my bunk last night. Said if anything happened to her, her password was her daughter's name. Hope it never comes to that. Angelica, huh? Okay. Entering quiet mode. Entering quiet mode, indeed. Okay, I see you, ladder. But I raise you, I want to see... Okay. Well, hey, I missed this before. That's cool. So this is like the other way in to that area. I just did not notice before. You know, I almost wonder how many of these little like low down areas I've missed because I feel like I've only just recently started seeing them. Oh, never good. Hi Sam, I can hear him coming up the coming up the stairs as it were in his own special way. Okay, so now I'm upstairs. I don't think there's anything else. Okay. <laughs> now we will go. And again, I assume I have like four times length because those extra purple dots, but I'm not gonna push it till like it's necessary. Okay. Proximity analysis. External fill sterilization measures employed. Caution, contact with electrical currents can be lethal to customers. Indeed. Okay. Right. What's here? Security routines? Disengage checkpoint security. Fuck yeah. I don't know what that is, but that sounds good. Personnel files. Mama Bear. Kimball came by, asking if any of the dogs had been around. I told her what I know. It's been quiet, just ask Alpha. She walked off with a spring in her step. Okay, weird. Then she requisitioned a UDL Electrofloor 3000 for my checkpoint. And a crate of concussion mines? Guess she didn't believe me. Is she preparing for war? She's acting like she knows something the rest of us don't. Seems especially uncomfortable around the docks. Yeah, she certainly thought bad stuff was coming. That's for sure. So she mines floors. Is what I'm getting from this. Okay, now I can open these floors. Sam, you're in the way, so it's a good thing I can walk for you. Gotta loot all these people's rooms, obviously. Yeah, something bad happened on the ship, which is not surprising. I, I would have only been surprised if nothing bad had happened. <laughs> Because you don't just abandon spaceships because everything's going great. <laughs> yeah. 
you know. Holding Tank 001 log. Subject, Dr. Charles McNulty. Alive, unstable condition. Subject should not be revived until method for stabilizing his condition is found. Contaminants. Okay, so there it's somebody being held in like crypto storage or something? James Guthrie. So this is James. Alive, extremely unstable condition. Subject will need extensive nuclein resequencing for any chance at viable extraction. Sorry I ended up like this, James. We'll come back for you all and fix this, I swear on it. Please forgive. So now there are fewer names on that one. Awkward. <sighs> Notes subject's condition is dire. Make sure resuscitation devices are on hand. Please hold on, Claire. We almost had it this time, I swear. We'll bring you back. What were they trying to do with this Alta Vitae gas? Mm. Is there anything else to see through there though? Okay, so there's the stairs to go up. Oh, goodness. I don't like that. I don't I don't I don't like that. Okay, well that's good. Seems useful. Security routines. It has been twelve hundred four seventeen days since last login. Oh, unlock for some quarters. Sure. Um modify systems access protocol. Oh yeah, this is the whole point of being here. Okay. Okay. Accessing override data, displaying automated confirmation. If you're reading this, you're saying the legal property of sublight salvaging and shipping. Good work, contractor. Hell yeah. Okay, project summary. Biological hybridization and assimilation strategies. Mm. Goal, further the chimeric sciences via the, via the targeted modification of human nuclei and using strands obtained from halcyon native fauna. Okay, so they're trying to make like human raptodon hybrids? I don't like that. Station morale, culture of distrust has soured relations between the research staff and security personnel. Many of you have submitted requests for early dismissal. To the research staff, the importance of your work supersedes any interpersonal conflict. To our security personnel, there will be no early dismissal. You will also notice that your employment contract has no set end date. You can enjoy a discussion of morale and its impact on success metrics once the question of humanity's place in the Halcyon colony is answered. In the meantime, get back to work. Hmm. Charlie. We almost lost Charlie. It was a runaway resequencing shift. Once it started, it kept going, spreading beyond the isolated tissue to a full-blown systemic infiltration. He said it was like every organ was itchy. Ugh. Ugh. I told him we'd ice him, freeze him until we could work out how to reverse what bad had gone. What? Sorry, to reverse what had gone wrong. Every time Laura walked by me, she rubbed my shoulders and asked me to take a different reading. They didn't need to be taken. It was just to keep my mind occupied. She's been checking on me every hour since. Claire. We had to put Claire on ice today. She and the others drew straws. Claire lost. The damage was slower this time. At first, the resequence stayed within normal parameters. Then it spread again, just like with Charlie. Tomorrow, I'm reaching out to my handler directly. I need some answers. What are Guthrie's doing? I hear symp symphony music from under his door. 
James, this lug is being entered by Dr. Fall. I had to prescribe Dr. Chartrand enough sedatives to knock out a primal. Yesterday morning, Dr. Guthrie and I drew straws to decide which of us would be the next tex test subject. He drew the short one. No new developments. After all our sacrifices, it still feels like we're miles away from a breakthrough. Eva hasn't forgiven herself for the losses. Maybe some time away from the station will clear her mind. The board confirmed receipt of my report, transmit our recall notice. We're just awaiting transport. I wish we could take some time away from the project to clear our heads, but we're not even close to that point. Outbound calm transcript. Is anyone listening on this frequency? Who is this? I'm the project lead of 1084. I wanted station 1084. You have orders to maintain wireless silence until a mission in state is achieved. Executive override password antediluvian. Interesting. That was the password we used to get the gas from the other place. Okay, what can I do for you, doctor? The board told me they would deliver my queries about our transcription problem to the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Or on the Cornelius Vanderbilt. Where are we with that? Afraid I can't provide an update status at this time, doctor. The assault cruiser should have arrived on Earth by now. My query was addressed to the chimerical uh, research development at George de Hevesi Institute in Budapest. One of my associates will reach out when we have an update. When? Aren't you in contact with the assault cruiser? What happened out there? Station 1084, misuse of this channel is a fireable offense, as, ab as is abusing your o executive override, saving cases of emergency. Damn it, this is an emergency. Okay, transmission ends. Executive override for chooser, for user Shantran E, discontinued duration indefinite. Job done. We what is happening? Ship, right? I've been missing Ada fierce. With Holy Earth. Tick. Don't we know Chartrain from Cascadia? Do we? I mean, I sure as hell don't remember, but that Cascadia is where we picked up the Alta Vita gas. So it wouldn't surprise me that there's a connection. Um, even directly with personnel. I just don't. Shit, I don't remember. Okay. There was stuff. Okay, now we see what see what happens when I run out. Okay, so I don't have more juice. I don't know what those extra dots are for then. Okay. Station has been secured. She can be found in sublight things on the ground breaker. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's it. Don't bite me, guys. Okay, good. So I was able to kind of turn off all the security stuff sufficiently. I wasn't sure if I had. Okay. Huh. It was very discombobulating. I feel like I still have so many questions. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Okay, check in on them real Felix, quick. Felix, take it from me. Never get close to anyone. They'll just let you down. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta get close to people, you know? How else are you gonna land a sneak attack? Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. For a second, I was worried you were gonna say something mushy. Oh, you were being serious? Well, what about us? We never let you down, right? Hey, I don't take it personal. You look out for you, I look out for me. Law of the universe, you know? Besides, that's what's great about a ship like this. When things get weird, you leave. I hope you stick around. The ship wouldn't be the same without you. Don't go getting mushy on me now. Hi. What? Hi. Okay. Let's go talk to Lilia in the Grumbreaker. I really Captain. want... I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Me neither. I need you, Ada. Okay. But 
I want more of a follow-up on this. I know I'm about out of time, but... We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. I want to know what she says about it. Let's go talk to Sublight. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch. Maybe even longer. I mean, they certainly mentioned Cassidy. I've been Cassidy. less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. I mean... Uh... Shit. Yeah, I mean, I kind of did. Ugh, my perception's too low. That's right. Up until now, I've kept you in the dark for your protection, and more importantly, mine. But I'd like to think we've earned each other's trust. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big, something none of us were meant to know. Yeah. You had my interest, now you have my attention. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. I'm guessing you have an idea. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? I mean, I already assume they're trying to go full, like, full metal alchemist here, so yes, I can do that. Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're <laughs> the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I mean... <laughs> aliens? Aliens. Really? Say nothing. I think I'm gonna say nothing here, because the thing is... I mean, I guess I can only assume she means, like, sentient, not, like, beast wrapped on whatever. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. <laughs> this doesn't feel at all right, Captain. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Yeah, like, why... aliens? <laughs> A few. If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Listen, Lilia, I am willing... to go on this trip with you. But I, I'll go for more clarity. When you say aliens, what are we talking about here? Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. Oh dear. This is an invasion of our very cells. 
That damned gas is mixing our nuclein with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us. Make us more like those monsters on Monarch. I mean, that is definitely... <laughs> Hello, green bastards must pay. I mean, I certainly agree with what you say. I just don't get the connection to aliens, so I haven't seen any evidence of aliens. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think I want to push it. I, I like Lilia. Enough. Tell me what needs to be done. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species. I need you to put a bullet through her skull. I mean... I feel like, though, that last transmission we saw... I don't know. Why does Dr. Chartrand need to die? She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. <laughs> now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. I did. When did Sublight get so principled? It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Okay. Now it all makes sense. <laughs> Science of one. Labs I passed through didn't seem that evil. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. No, I agree. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. Where does Chartrand fit into your alien conspiracy theory? We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Hmm. Sounds messy, but I'll take the job. We'll this key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Uh -huh. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I will um, end it here on um, aliens, I guess. <laughs>